Tesla is moving forward. We are looking into Giga Berlin and the battery cell production over here. We clearly see that the construction outside has been finished and now inside the factory we see a lot of employees actually already having their desks over there. I'm starting to work in this new building and that is what I'm very excited about. Nevertheless, we do know the focus is on the battery cell production in the US right now. So we can expect that Tesla might delay the initial um, scale of production here in Giga Berlin by a bit. I do believe um, we will see over the next few weeks a lot, a lot of material arriving to establish a new um, yeah, production line for the batteries. Now looking into Giga Berlin, we also have to look into how to hire people. As in Germany, it is a very difficult thing to find people to work for you. As in general, there is a lack of um, people that are willing um, to switch their job or that are unemployed. But now Tesla is working with the agency, um, the unemployed or employment agency in Frankfurt, not the Frankfurt in the West, but in the East. And they are um, hiring a lot of people that have been unemployed before which I find very nice because they get a new job at Tesla and this is a big brand and if you're unemployed and you can start working for Tesla that is a good step forward into a better future hopefully and so they do that and they also prepare for a third shift that is very important because we clearly see that we still need more production um, and a higher production rate um, to cope with the demand that we have here in Europe. And this is just for the Model Y long range and Model Y performance. We are not even talking about the Model Y standard range. Now, as I mentioned before, um, we are looking into the wood cutting here. Um, that is actually in a good progress right now. Um, as we are seeing on satellite images, the white area is still having um, a kind of some parts of forest. Nevertheless, there's already some cuts through. So I do expect that Tesla is finishing this entire progress by the end of the week if they continue in the um, speed that they have started by Friday night last week. And after that, we see if Tesla still needs to wait for another two months to start with building um, a construction site here or if they get the pre-permit already very soon um, as Tesla is um, pretty sure working in the same strategy as before, building buildings based on pre-permits on their own risk. That is the way um, they're going to do that in the second um, phase and third phase as well. So very exciting. What I don't like um, is that we had to wait so long for a software update, but now it looks like we're going to get these lines back for all those who don't have the ultrasonic sensors. So um, based on Green, and he was also um, being named in many articles right now, there is a code suggesting that in the version 2022.40.4, um, these lines that you have seen in the distances are actually um, being um, again pushed on your screen so you can see them. The distances can be seen as well as the um, firmware, firmware update capability for the new wiper motor is there. So there is supposed to be um, some sort of um, update coming as well for that because there was a lot of struggle when it was raining that the wiper was not reacting. So um, hopefully Tesla is fixing that with a software update as well. Now for the USS um, discussion here, we can just say that there's still the open question of, about the blind spot, but I think we have to wait um, that the software update is rolling out much more to more consumers, more customers out there, and we kind of see um, how the experience with this new software update is. Now for the cranes here, they look like as they are for the production as well for the Cybertruck. Um, it is always good to see when new material, new machines, or in this case, new cranes are arriving. It's always a good sign that Tesla is not um, yeah, messing around. Um, they are moving forward. And this is what we can see for the October numbers. The forecast is that Tesla is close to Subaru and with 40, 45,895 cars. So a slight increase by 3% um, to last um, month, which was the end of the quarter. 
and we have an increase of 75.6 percent if that would come true um, to last year. Um, Daimler up by 48 percent, um, GM by 58 percent and Toyota by 31 um, percent going back from the decline last year. Other car makers are supposed to have even um, some of them even a decline like Ford um, and others uh, just um, smaller gain here. So um, we see Tesla is already in play when it comes to numbers in the general car maker market, not only in the EV market. That is something um, we can notice over the past years that this has changed. Um, now going back to one more time to the hiring process in Germany. It is very important to get people that are unemployed back to work. And in Germany, we do try that um, through a lot of trainings with people. Um, but again, it is always exciting to get people that have been unemployed, not people quitting their job, moving down from that one company to Tesla. That is one way how Tesla is hiring people as well. But it is nice to see that people who might not have a good education um, that didn't went to um, university, if those people are able to be trained well and move to the production line, I mean, that is the best case scenario here to move people into a job where they can earn money and fulfill hopefully their dreams and get um, some sort of um, safety here. Again, we do know that Tesla is being very, very um, harsh when it comes to firing people from time to time. But nevertheless, I think a lot of people will find a good future over there in um, Giga Berlin. Now, moving forward to China, what is interesting is um, China insured units. It looks like we could have the best month, the best first month of a um, quarter in China locally, looking at close to 20,000 cars in domestic sales, despite despite moving so many cars to Europe, um, carriers moving to Australia, carriers moving to Japan. So this really looks good. And this could already be the strategy change we have talked about. Um, so indicating um, that we are seeing as well more production happening in the last month of the quarter, not only for China. So that is very important as well. Looking into Morning Cello, Morning Cello is not a carrier for the European market, um, as well as the Malaysia Brave that is on the way to Japan. So Morning Cello could be for Great Britain, Australia, um, or um, maybe Japan if they need another one or Korea. So um, good, um, good sign here for other markets. And um, yeah, I am glad to have you back here on my channel. If you were new, do consider subscribing. That would really help my channel. If you get your car soon, do consider checking out tessysupply.com. I would really appreciate that.